Hi, my name is Bridger. This is my wife, Stephanie. Uh, we've been together for almost 14 years, married for 11, and have four amazing children. Uh, at 18, I decided to try my own thing out and uh, go s just see what the world was all about, which eventually uh, brought me into a meth addiction. And a few years after that was when I met Stephanie. I had yeah. just quit using meth, and so we had actually started dating, and mm -hmm. he was pretty heavy into it, and so I actually gave him an ultimatum at that point that it was either the drugs or me. Uh, after a few years of being together, uh, Steph uh, had the desire to start going to church and everything, and um, I wasn't quite ready to go back yet. I wasn't really ready to, I guess, admit where I was. I kept asking him to go to church and he just wasn't ready but it was actually the reason why I'd done that was because I would open up to a Bible and I always opened up to Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6. I worked in a hotel at the time so I always looked in different Bibles it was never the same one and so to me the fact that it kept happening over and over I felt like there had to be something and at that point I didn't know anything about having a relationship with Christ. Finally I don't know, our oldest was about three months old. He was like, all right, let's go to church today. And so we did, and that just kind of changed everything. That day I gave my life to Christ, and mm -hmm. he... Yeah, and I rededicated my life uh, that day too, and it was, it was so easy. I felt like, um, you know, I'm gonna have to go through all this work and, and, and do all this stuff, but it, it wasn't. It was just coming in and just feeling God's peace and being able to just say, I'm sorry, God, and please forgive me. And, uh, our uh, heater went on in our camper. We were staying in our camper at the time, and I just called a repair guy to come in, and uh, after he had fixed what was wrong with the camper and everything, um, we just started talking, and he was like, hey, have you ever heard of Rock Family Church? And we're like, no, it's so funny because we've searched for a lot of churches and we never found it. And then it was at the perfect timing in uh, my life because I was going through some things. So I actually looked up the, the church and uh, listened to the most recent sermon and it was like just spot on what I needed to hear. So that was on Friday and then Sunday uh, we came for our first time and uh, it was just, it was so awesome. It just felt so inviting and we just felt like a family like as soon as we walked in through the doors. And so when we found this church we hadn't planned on living here yet but then after being here for a couple months we just really felt called to this church. We didn't know why so we actually decided to move here at that point and so we did and then um, he ended up going online to contact the worship leader because he thought you know what why don't I get involved in that. And then a few months later uh, I was on the team and then they started the Thrive Groups and it was just awesome. The group of guys that I've met through there uh, have been such a support system for me and I know uh, same for her with her group. After this first semester I decided to do the training to become a leader and so after doing that training and apprenticing I still didn't feel like I was ready to be a leader yet but then Liz was like, no you're ready, I'm going to give you a group. And so she did, and it's just been so amazing to see how all that matters is being willing and being open to be used by God, because it's not about me and my abilities, and I've come to know that. It's so cool getting to see God use me just because I'm willing and I'm open, because honestly, if it were up to me, I probably still wouldn't even be a leader. But seeing someone else see something in me that I didn't see has been really huge for me, but it's also just reminded me of the power of the Holy Spirit and what can happen when you're open to that. Uh, so a couple months ago, they were uh, the church was looking for a worship leader at the South Campus, and Pastor Brad came up to me and asked me if it was something that I'd be interested in doing, and uh, after a lot of praying, I just, I just knew that it was something that I was supposed to do. I tell you what, the first time I led down there, it was just like, I really can't even put it into words. It just felt like just falling into my lane and falling back into where I'm supposed to be, what I was what I was created for. Every week since then has been better and better and better and I just can't wait for the next week to see what God's gonna do.
It's so special there. The, the atmosphere is so different than anything that I've ever experienced. And I really love that. I, I'm really excited to see what God's going to do. Mm -hmm. And just seeing, seeing it grow every week and seeing more people come in and just see the people, the lives that, that we're being able to be a part of, of touching. Um, it's just been really awesome to be a part of that and see it growing and moving.